I've had and reviewed the HD15 from Workhouse and they released this upgraded uh, HD16 with some improvements there are quite a few things that I like and uh, what I think can be improved I'll try to go over them one by one hey welcome back to UDC channel this is Jay I never really use a headband so I always carry them as an EDC light I replaced the headband with this included um, clip as soon as I open the box speaking of the box let's um, take a quick look at the box and accessories here's the box uh, regular packaging from Workhouse with an outer sleeve and an inner um, card box which is quite thick here's the headband that I mentioned earlier three-way probably a nice one for somebody who uses it charging cable and o-ring no instruction this design is a uh, pretty badass and quite unique I categorize right angle headlights into um, three categories regular right angle like the HD10 or this uh, woven H5 squarish multi LEDs which are uh, usually centered like this uh, like this HD16 woven H1 and the uh, E7 and the special rotating ones like the HD11 or this woven L1 I didn't realize I've gathered quite a few when I never use any headlights but I do carry them as a regular EDC lights uh, rotation back to this there are two LEDs and there are two options for the HD15 you gotta pick throw plus flat or uh, white plus airy, um, or white plus red LEDs this time they put all three options um, throw, flat and red in the HD16 with a custom TIR lens which is really neat Although I would love if they added a fourth um, one for UV. Initially, I thought that they have and wasted this dedicated spot for an additional one, but it turns out that this is most likely the spot for the proximity sensor by uh, quad clicking while the light is on. This is off. There we go. As a headlight, UV is probably not practical, anyways. But as an EDC, it makes more sense. Now, this rotary switch is what makes this light um, interesting, in my opinion. It's both clicky and rotary. I'll talk more about how it works in the UI later on. It makes the design both um, unique and kind of uh, weird at the same time with this uh, protruding part. I do think that I would prefer um, without it and just use this as the rotary uh, switch instead. Plus it makes the clip not as deep, deep carry as it would have been. But the clip is also fits on the other side. But I think this way is better. For example, if you use it as a um, clip on, it's easier to control um, the light. The rotary feels sturdy. Um, not too loose that it would spin freely, easily. And you can feel the slight 
clicks for the micro steps but the click itself is not um, pleasant the travel is really shallow especially for something protruding this much and it's quite stiff there's a USB um, charging indicator port on this side next to the battery and charging indicator light as usual the flap is too easy to be opened um, accidentally I will most likely um, cut it off I mean this part obviously there's a magnet in the tail being a right angle um, light Another design improvement I can suggest is um, these four kind of sharp corners that might uh, dig into your finger and create a hot spot depending on how you um, hold the light. Let's take a peek inside. It only opens from the bottom. Due to the complicated switch, they probably lock tight the head for a good reason. It came with these 18650 batteries. I like how small um, this kind of right angle light is not uh, too much bigger than the battery itself and it's using a dual spring design so it should accommodate more battery sizes let's do some size comparison with other um, 18650 or even 18350s um, okay, so these two I um, gathered uh, some of my 18350s and uh, 18650 lights that uh, are about the same height, about the same size. Okay, now onto the main thing. It's not using end drill, but there are quite a few uh, settings to play with. Strangely, it didn't came with a manual in the box. But I think I figured out most of them. Where to start? Um, one click on, one click off with memory. It remembers not um, just the brightness but the, the mode as well. So if you're in the red, it will stay in red. But there's a shortcut to moonlight by holding the switch from off. However, I wish it takes uh, less time. See how fast this is versus this. Let's compare. One, two. Press and hold to ramp up and down. Rotate to ramp between uh, flat and uh, throw. Okay, um, let me pause here for a moment right away. Rotary switch is more suitable for um, 1. Brightness ramping and um, 2. Uh, tint ramping in my opinion. For flat and throw, I much rather have it on instant switching. Exactly like the setup uh, for these two hangs. Let's start with the... and uh, throw I mean flood throw it does work as a brightness ramping on the red mode
So um, you can either long press or uh, turn the dial. But there's a noticeable jump for the first and um, second step. The first three step probably. Next up is the double click from off. Instead of going to turbo, it's for the lockout. Indicated by two bright links. It, either white or red depending on the last mode you were using. For both the lockout and the locked indication unfortunately. Due to this I decided to use a hardware lockout instead. I do like that it has a momentary uh, moonlight by long pressing from lock, white or red, which could have been really handy, but this bright notification kind of ruined it. Another double click to unlock and turn on the last mode and brightness setting, which is actually good. One last step to turn on um, the light after unlocking it. Double click from on does bring it to turbo. As you saw earlier from the um, proximity sensor test. Another double click for uh, both turbo. The same um, double click for turbo for dread mode. And another double for um, flashing. Which uh, might be handy as a hazard or emergency signal um, to get others attention. Triple click from on to switch between the white and red. One, two, three. One, two, three. I like that it switched um, to the same brightness setting between modes, including moonlight. I do wish that for the white moonlight, only the flat is on. It makes more sense in my opinion. And there's no way to uh, ramp to the other mode. As soon as you turn the dial to ramp, it switches to uh, low instead of moonlight. Another wishlist is an auxiliary, both as a decoration and locator. It's a missed opportunity, I think, with all of these modes and LEDs. In terms of design, I think this is a better looking one, at least for me. But this one has a cool uh, breathing auxiliary which I wish this also has okay let's just go out and um, get some beam shots okay let's start with the moonlight that's the ceiling Ramp down, ramp up, the ramping is quite fast, this is for both LED, now let's um, ramp it to the old row. The other way, all flat. You can see a lot more, but it cannot really reach that tree. Let's try turbo. This is both on. Okay. Now let's try the red mode from moonlight and up. There's the ceiling. It's quite floody. Let's try the special mode. There we go. And 
então. Vamos ver se chega no ângulo. E vem up. Ultra. You see that uh, ring. flat you see a lot more but cannot reach back there again now the turbo right And down, and up, okay. Compact size with interesting design, uh, replaceable common battery, triple output, red 30 plus clicky combo switch, quite affordable as always. Workos uh, is probably one of, if not the best value for money option for me. And if you're in the market for a cool headlight, you might want to consider this. Okay, as always, thanks for watching and see you guys in the next one. Bye now.